Hello YouTube audience, my name is Elizabeth and I am here giving you guys my breakdown of the California primaries and here are my thoughts. It is June 8th, Wednesday, 2022. I live in LA, California. I live in that area. I am not shocked that as of right now, Gavin Newsom has won the vote to be our governor with 1.9 votes, which makes him at about 56%. I'm getting these news from KCAL in LA because I went on the New York Times and guess what? You click on results and oh, subscribe. Nope, not there. What else did I try? Oh, the LA Times, mm, subscribe. It's really weird how you go online and these sites that are supposed to give you the news give you like little like Google points, but then when you click on them to read them and see, hey, well, how much of the polling info is in, um, how, you know, like nothing. You can't because you have to subscribe to our, to our companies. And I'm like, dude, y'all suck. Y'all are biased. Y'all are, y'all are fake. So I ain't gonna pay shit to your site. But alas, I still needed the election results. So I wanted to do KTLA just because if I have to say something and you're watching this video, just know I live in California. I grew up here. I worked at the 2000, oh my God. I, uh, I worked at the 2008 California primary where it was Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton battling it out for the Democratic um, vote for the primaries back then. I mean, it was a McCain game back then, but so to me, the primaries have always, and I did that because they pay you 90 bucks for a day's labor. And you start from seven to nine, you, and you work the polls. You verify people and then you hand them a ballot according to the political party that they are signed up for. Which in California, we can't be surprised by our elections results if we are not looking at how many people are registered and what party they're registered in because people will vote along their party, along their status quo versus the aspect of them doing any work. Because to me, it's, I didn't even know who Brian Dante, the Republican nominee was, but I will give him credit. A bunch of these individuals who ran for office in California specifically decided the no party preference tagline was way better than I don't know if you're fucking conservatives, just say you're a Republican or a independent or a libertarian. No party preference. That's like saying, oh, I have, I, I have no interests. Oh, I have no preferences. I like everything. You know, people that like everything, they don't like nothing. I'm just kidding. But credit to Michael Shell Lenberger, he got... 125,000 votes, making him only having 3% of the vote. Fuck. Man, it just shows you how bad it is to get people to go to the elections or mail in their ballots. Mailing in, that's that's the fishy one. I got a mail in ballot, but we'll keep that one there. But so, yeah, Michael Shelberger proving that by getting on Joe Rogan and Bill Maher is not enough to get enough publicity. Thy California populist voter is way too distracted out here with content. You have to get on everything or you have to go viral. Gosh, it's almost as if I'm getting free campaign advice on my YouTube channel with my son Solomon just looking at me. <sighs> okay. So that one was for free, <laughs> just kidding. So that's just one thought of the results. I mean, I mean, they can't, I mean, the governor race really though, were you, 
were you really shocked? The Attorney General. I'll give you that. State controller, Lanche Chen, Republican. And she got 1.2 votes, 36%. Most of this says it's only 49% reporting. So I'm gonna keep this online unless YouTube takes it down. Cause apparently that's a thing that all these content creators want to tell us. That way we go and just watch all their shit, right? Because they're so innovative. I'm like, dude, you're interviewing the same group of individuals about the same exact topics. You're not going anywhere. YouTube's gonna keep your shit up because you're just part of the problem. <gasps> I'm just kidding. That wasn't very nice, was it? So, okay, but this is what I wanted to talk about. I'm sorry, I should have been more prepared, but you could just double tap and fast forward the 15 seconds. And I'll raise my hand once I start saying something. Yeah, see all LA City Council, District 5, District 7, all of this has 0%. They're not even reporting these things. They're just reporting on a statewide level. But I am intrigued on whether Rick Caruso, Karen Bass, or Kevin DeLeon, I'm sorry, Kevin, 23,000 over Rick Caruso's 133. Mm. Again, this is, this is a democratic play, a democratic, a Democrat party playing field. For those of you who have fled, just know that if this was back in the 1700s and they were overtaxing our tea and sugar, you fled. There's those of us who will now have to do because I want to say it's like the country, the state has gone somewhere and I have to take it back. I don't like that. I think we've let individuals play politics in this wonderful state for as long as that they've had to. We've let nepotism somehow be the leading cause as to how we look for our leaders. We let things such as charisma fool us or a scandal about some person's history, dating life, I don't care. I think people are really over that. People are so over the charismatic governor, Gavin Newsom, um, image, but our human nature wants to lean towards, oh, I have to hide behind that image. That, that guy will protect me. That governor, he knows what he's doing. He's lived up in Sacramento for a minute. Oh, no one else can come pick up the blocks of what he's got to do. Oh, see, that was me filming with the camera with no notes other than the KTLA. This was all really going to start with me just pissed off about the fact that anytime you want to find info and read about info, you've got to subscribe to something, which means, okay, if you're, are, are you the media that's providing, are you just pointing eyeballs to us for relevance? Are you trying to make money? Like trying to get subscribers? Like what does a Washington Post subscriber look like? Like, oh, I only listen to these set of reporters for this conglomerate of a company. And I don't go to any other community because I want to belong in this community. That's why I love YouTube. I will stand by YouTube. Although I learned online that the YouTube algorithm favors videos between the minutes of nine to 11. Um, and apparently there's knowledge now. Oh gosh. Um, that it picks up words that you say, which is kind of cool too. Because if it does, then I've heard
heard terms like clout. So Republican, Democrat, government, politics, love, books, reading, knowledge, Los Angeles, Los Angeles, Los Angeles, Los Angeles, Los Angeles. Let me go viral there, you know? Like, let me take 20 seconds of this complete online vlog series of me communicating just what I think about. This is it, right? This is how people this is like the reverse of therapy, right? Because that's all I see. All I see is ads for therapy. My gosh. Shit. Don't people just... Oh, I'm just kidding. I'll leave that one for next. But have a good day. I see I kept this under the 12 minute mark, which is what I read online is what the algorithm likes to grow. So have a good day. God bless you guys. Live in California. I love America. I live in the United States. I love my country, but I detest my government. Ooh, yes. Have a good day.